Hello and welcome to Silverstone. The summer break is open and we're getting ready for the second half of the Euro Formula Open season. So far this year, Felipe Drugovic in the RPMO Sport car has absolutely dominated. He has won seven of the first eight races and therefore the championship is beginning to come within his grasp. But can anybody launch the challenge for the second half of the season? Let's have a look at the very best of the racing. From pole position, it was Felipe Drugovic who got the jump as they headed towards Cops for the first time with Memphis Gale slotting into second ahead of Lucas Dunner. Behind, there was plenty of jockeying for position with a couple of them running wide through Beckett's first time around. The front of the field, though, Felipe Drugovic tried to stretch his way clear of the pack as Matthias Jorio came under early pressure from Callum Williams. Lightweight Aldo Fastante. Glem Smart kicked off what would prove to be a race-long battle. Williams then slipped down through the field after a couple of moments at the loop. Meanwhile, Fastante and Samaya had a great scrap, which eventually was decided in favour of Samaya, who held his nerve around the outside at Stowe. And then that gave him the inside line for Vale. Fastante did everything he could to defend, but he couldn't quite keep the Brazilian behind him. For Felipe Drugovic, he led every millimetre of the race. It was an eighth victory of what is proving to be a very emphatic campaign, with Ben Skull a solid second and rookie victory once more. So RP Motorsport once more celebrating as Felipe Drugovic took a lights to flag win at Silverstone. All smiles once more for the Italian team and Brazilian driver. I was uh, really as, as I would like to be, and uh, yeah, I got a quite good start. After that, I was just managing the tyres. Cars were, car were a little bit oversteering, didn't really had the confidence all the laps, but then uh, once I got it, the, the way the, the car was, uh, I could push uh, how I wanted. And yes, uh, it was really good. Yes, thank you very much, Chris. We're just waiting for the And the uh, title is nearing now. We can start thinking of that. Yes, yes. Uh, I still try to not think about it. Try to think race by race and then uh, see what you get. So from pole position, it was Piscal who got the leap away. So the lights went out with Felipe Drugovic slotting into second ahead of Cameron Das and Marcus Sieber. That top four order would remain as such all the way to the flag. But it really didn't tell the story of the race as Matez Yorio made ground early on, scything to the inside of Callum, Callum Williams as they turned through Stoke. There was some frenetic dicing in the early stages. Guilherme Samaya also looking to try and carve up through the field early on. Geraldo Fastante, however, it was a disappointing day. That spin at Beckett the pecking order and eventually peeling into the pits and out of the race early. Christian Hahn, another of the drivers to have a bit of an excursion, and that ultimately cost him a points finish. At the front of the field, Viscal and Drugovic flew in formation for the 15 laps. Drugovic could never get quite close enough to Viscal to mount a challenge. It was nervous stuff for Teo Martin and the squad, but they were successful. Victory for Memphis Cal, his maiden win in the Euro Formula Open. A day to remember for Teo Marti Motorsport with Felipe Drugovic in second and Cameron Das taking third after race long pressure from Marcus Sieber. I'm uh, very happy to win my first race in Euro Formula Open and uh, yeah, I have to thank the team for the amazing car, uh, definitely a big improvement towards the whole year so uh, I'm very happy about the uh, performance today. And it was a tough race, keeping at bay Philippe for the entire race. Yes, obviously you had to take care of the tyres and uh, obviously manage the gap to, be, to the car behind. But uh, yeah, I, I think I did well, so uh, yeah, I'm happy to, to be first now. 